everyone. My name is Kishi. I'm currently in mainland China. I'm now in Hong Kong. I graduated from uh, Xi'an Zhou Liberal University this year. I'm now with the uh, Hong Kong Baptist University. I'm a uh, Dr. Bahua from Oracle and Tony uh, Tong from IBM. And uh, I'm working, uh, I was working on the Hyperledger channel. Uh, it's an uh, operate and govern blockchain network in centralized way. <laughs> And uh, describe the project channel is a blockchain provision and operation system, uh, which help developers and operators manage blockchain networks in an efficient way. Uh, this project aims to uh, design and implement a practical operational system equipped with decentralized functionality based on Hyperledger channel. Um, and um, there are some companies already use the uh, channel in production, but the, 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 they modify it from the channel uh, code base. And uh, uh, the objectives of uh, my project is uh, first uh, the documentation for the new governing modular, and uh, also I need to implement uh, some of the new governing modular. And uh, the deliverables are uh, uh, documentations for the API engine and development of the API engines and the user dashboard rest for APIs. And, uh, so to uh, accomplish that, uh, I have uh, first uh, go through the Django and Flask web framework, uh, uh, which was used at the uh, user dashboard uh, RESTful APIs. And uh, I have uh, developed the Docker-based uh, agent um, and uh, revised the agent according to Baha and uh, Tony's uh, suggestions, and also evaluate the API engine code and decide to leverage it. So uh, this is some uh, the mission where, where we use the um, uh, HTTP methods. Which are, uh, so the, the, um, the URL will start from like the API uh, version one and uh, something uh, with um, add-ons like um, uh, network and give the network uh, ID or something. Also, there will be the users. Uh, if you call this. Um, APIs so will we'll, uh, invoke uh, certain functionalities. And uh, I have a, a quick demo to show. Um, yeah, so first, uh, uh, the location of the APIs are um, the channel source code agent, Docker REST agent. And uh, I have written the server uh, and uh, invoked the server. And this is the integration as uh, I have written for check the functionalities. And you see there's no uh, Docker uh, uh, instance running at first. Now we use uh, the invocation. Um, uh, the APIs to invoke uh, uh, to um, to create uh, a um, Docker agent, and the uh, the instance will be running. And uh, I'm using uh, Baha's uh, Hyperledger Fabric 2.4 uh, 2.2 <coughs> version, and uh, he he had uh, uh, put some uh, script already, so. Uh, while well, done the uh, node, uh, we can uh, use uh, the script uh, um, and fill with um, some uh, um, user input data, such as uh, the uh, MSP, et cetera, um, from, the begin uh, from uh, the previous slides. And uh, yeah. So, uh, first uh, to create the node and start the node, uh, also, there's uh, the restarting the node. Uh, also, <clears throat> I think to mention there is uh, uh, the response is like, uh, so there's code is OK or fail, and data is the uh, ID of the instance, doc instance, and, uh, and the public uh, gRPC URL and the, the rough URL <laughs> and the status, and uh, there's a messenger indicating with the status uh, of the node. And um, yeah, then you can check the Docker instance is not there, and uh, yeah, that, that, that's about it. 
And uh, for the recommendation for future work, we can support more agents such as Ansible based uh, or Kubernetes based uh, agents. Also, uh, need to revise the documentations uh, for the APIs. And also, for, uh, because Cello is a big project, uh, what I have done is uh, uh, rather independent from the whole project. Uh, so, that user dashboard need to um, connect with the agents uh, uh, I have done at this um, mentorship program. And uh, yeah, so there should be some future work to uh, uh, make that done. <clears throat> So the code is available as the uh, um, uh, Cello source, uh, source agent, and uh, the, there are the specification which I'll put to the wiki page later for this check. And uh, yeah, so one thing I, uh, I've learned is to communicate with the mentors because uh, uh, for the Hyperlay Cello, we have the weekly meeting and. Uh, uh, always, uh, it's always helpful to uh, communicate with Bahua to revise the documentation and implement according to the documentation. And uh, uh, like the, the more time you uh, develop, uh, well develop the documentation, then it's easier for the implementation work. Also, I have uh, uh, learned some programming skills like the sharpen my. Uh, web development for like Django and the Flask. So, so the takeaways are like documentation is important. So, and I also have a try and you can start programming. And thank you. And uh, I can take some questions if there are any. Thank you, Dex. I think, I, you know, I think all of us would agree documentation is really, really important, right? For others who are new to your project to understand uh, what's going on, to get the latest update. Um, you know, in order to get others to contribute, you have to have good documentation. Uh, so that's really, it's really important. It's not just about writing code. It's also about, you know, creating and maintaining your documentation. And we're kind of three minutes past, uh, so I really appreciate everybody. Um, I'm going to actually stop recording here.